Okay, so starting a business is the next step after you decide which business to start and after you've done your research. Marketing is essential for any business, but it's particularly important for startups because it helps you build sales, generate leads, and establish a customer base. Now, there are many different ways to market your startup business, but in this video, I'll talk about some of the more successful and effective methods of marketing a startup that I've seen in the marketplace. So as a startup, you have a limited budget and your new business will have competition in the market. Now this can make it difficult to get your business noticed and generate leads. However, with the right marketing strategies, you can effectively promote your business and reach your target audience. Target market. The first step in marketing your startup is to identify your target market. This means understanding who your customers are and what their needs and pain points are and what sets your business apart from the competition. Now this will help you create marketing messages that resonate with your target audience and will be more likely to convert those target audience into customers. Now I'll link a video in the description below with more information about finding your target market. Your USP, your unique selling proposition. Once you have identified your target market, you need to create a compelling value proposition, a USP. Now this is a statement that explains why your product or service is better than the competition and why customers should choose you over the others. Now your value proposition should be clear, concise, compelling, and it should be included in, well, all your marketing materials. So I'll link a video below in the description showing you what a USP is, how to come up with one, and then how best to use it. Social media is something that we're all familiar with, and it is a powerful tool for marketing your startup business. It's a great way to connect with potential customers, build relationships, and drive traffic to your website. Choose the social media platforms that are most relevant to your target market and will create engaging content that will attract their attention. Now with platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc., you can reach a large audience without spending a whole heap of money. So use these platforms to share valuable content, engage with your audience, and showcase your unique value proposition. You can also identify influencers in your industry. And they can help spread the word about your business. You can collaborate with these influencers to create sponsored content or to offer them a discount on your products or services in exchange for maybe a shout out on their social media channels. Definitely make full use of content marketing. Now this strategy involves creating sharing relevant valuable and consistent content to attract and retain an audience. Now this could include blog posts, articles, videos, infographics, and other forms of content that educate and engage your audience. Be free with your information. Use it all on your social media, your website, and email marketing, and newsletter marketing. It's very cost effective, and it does work. So a website is pretty obvious, but your website is often the first point of contact that potential customers have with your business. So it's important to make a good impression. Now your website should be professional, easy to navigate, and informative. It should also include call to action, such as signing up for an email newsletter or scheduling a consultation. Now unfortunately, so many businesses will have a beautifully constructed website, but forget that that website is there to grow their business. It's there for sales, and they leave out some critical information that will drive customers to their business. So I'll link a video in the description below showing you some of the important things to include on your website. Nothing beats face-to-face -face marketing. Nothing beats recommendations from people that know and trust you. So networking and attending events is a great way to meet potential customers and business partners. Attend events that are relevant to your industry and make connections with fellow attendees. Follow up with them after the event to continue to build relationships. Make sure you have a great elevator pitch and be ready to talk to as many people as possible that might help you to grow your business. There are some simple networking things to do that make networking events very profitable. And I'll link a video in the description below giving you some easy tips to make networking work for you. So collaboration with other businesses, which doesn't quite sound logical, but collaborating with other businesses, as you would do with social media, can help you expand your reach and increase your visibility. 
So you partner up with complementary businesses to cross promote each other's products or services. Now you do this in a number of ways, maybe by offering promotions and discounts to their customers or rewarding their customers if they refer business back to you. And you do the same for them. Word of mouth is still one of the most effective forms of marketing, so don't be afraid to ask your customers for referrals and offer incentives for customers who refer business to you. Now those incentives could be small discounts, freebies, or simply a thank you note. Encourage your customers to share their experiences with your business and leave reviews on popular review sites such as Yelp or Google. Now this can help create new leads and builds trust with potential customers. It's very cost effective and very, very good. Finally, it's really important to measure and track the results of your marketing efforts. Now it's often said of marketing that only half the marketing you do actually works. The problem is that virtually no one knows which half of the marketing is working. So measure the results. Now that will help you understand what's working and what's not. And that will allow you to make adjustments and improvements. Focus on what matters, and that's making money. Most business failures come from not concentrating on revenue. Cash coming in, money coming in. You'll have a much easier path to success if you have cash coming through the door from day one. So ensure that your marketing is directly bringing dollars into the business. Ignore any marketing or opportunities to build awareness. You need cash through the business to ensure your future success. The more you sell, the more customers are talking about how great your business is, the more awareness you'll have in the market and the better you'll do. Now I've seen a lot of bad advice given to new startups. To be successful, make sure you avoid these things here. I'll see you over there. Until next time, thanks for watching. Cheerio.